What is green computing? Green computing is using computers and technology in energy efficient and eco-friendly ways. This can relate to not only energy efficient methods, but also recycling and paper management. So let's talk about energy efficient. We can reduce our carbon footprint and help the planet if we use energy efficient hardware. You want to look out for the energy star symbol. Any product with an energy star symbol has been tested and certified to meet certain energy efficiency requirements and can help to save money on electric bills and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Replace old equipment. Newer equipment will be more energy efficient, so it is better to replace old parts or devices, especially if the old devices are not energy efficient and do not have that energy star symbol. In the old days, people used CRT monitors for computers and TVs. They were these big bulky screens that have massive parts attached to the back of the actual screen. They used a lot of power to run. That's why it's better to use the newer LCD monitors. LCD monitors use less energy and have a much longer lifespan than CRT monitors. So if you're still using that big bulky CRT screen, I think it's time to get a better LCD screen. Power management settings can also reduce energy consumption. For example, by reducing the brightness of your screens or setting computers to sleep when not in use can help minimize how much power your devices are using. Another important aspect of green computing is to rather turn off your devices when not in use so that you can avoid using standby mode. Standby mode is a low power mode that many devices can enter when not in use. Like when your PlayStation is off but the red light is on or that device that can be brought back to life by simply pressing a button on the remote. They are in standby mode, which although uses less energy than being fully powered on, it is still consuming energy and generating heat. So rather switch the device off completely or even unplug it if you're not sure. You don't want to be using vampire power. This is the energy that devices continue to use even when they are turned off or in standby mode. This leads to wasted energy that adds up over time, so you can even save money by switching those devices off completely. Now let's talk about e-waste. What is e-waste? E-waste consists of all those old electronic and computing devices that you have thrown away. All those phones, monitors, computers and batteries that are in the trash can actually be quite toxic to the environment as these devices have heavy metals, plastics and built-in batteries which if they leach into the soil can have a negative impact on soil, water and surrounding wildlife. Just think about your cell phone. If you renew your contract every two years, you normally get a new phone with that contract. Let's assume that you live to at least 66 and you get your first phone at 16. That's 50 years of phone use. And if you get a new phone every two years, that's 25 phones for one person. Now imagine those 25 phones for each person in the class. That's hundreds of toxic devices that end up in the trash and we're only looking at phones. It is much better to recycle old devices and find places that will discard your device safely. So look around for these e-waste recycling centers, often near computer shops or at shopping centers that will make sure your old electronics don't hurt our environment. Paper management is another way we can help the environment. When we refer to a hard copy, we are referring to the actual physical printed paper document. A soft copy refers to the same document but in digital, so it doesn't physically exist but it can be viewed on a device. We want to decrease the number of hard copies and increase the use of soft copies. Imagine a paperless office where the documents don't need to be printed. All this paper costs a lot of money, takes up a lot of space, but is also not great for the environment. There are other ways we can also reduce the amount of physical paper we use, like Print preview before printing. How many times do you print something and it's inked it and printed again? Rather check what it looks like before printing by using the print preview option. Minimize paper being used by printing on both sides or printing multiple pages on one page, as long as it's big enough to read. Recycle old paper. Collect it and take to paper recycling plants. And try use recycled paper to save those lovely trees we have outside. If you use inkjet printers, instead of buying new ink cartridges, rather refill them. And use a multifunction printer or MFP that can scan, fax, copy as well as print. This way we aren't using multiple devices every time. So remember to be more energy efficient, recycle that e-waste and manage your paper and printing better. And together we can help the environment and still get to use all our wonderful technology. We release a new computer term every Thursday at 3 o'clock for Theory Thursdays. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share us with your friends and remember to subscribe. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.